a very important part of making user-friendly databases is learning how to properly build forms. In lesson two, we'll begin taking a look at how to build forms from the ground up. In level one, we took a few minutes and built a simple customer form. Now remember, a form is just a nice pretty way of displaying the data from your tables on the screen. Forms allow you to build a user-friendly interface for your database. Plus, forms allow you additional control and security for the data in your database. For example, there are things that you can do in a form that aren't easy to do in a table, such as lock certain fields, set up different types of security. You can make forms where the users can only view the data and they can't edit it. Using visual basic programming, which we'll learn in future lessons, you can actually control what happens when users type certain bits of information into form fields. There's all kinds of things you can do with forms that you can't really do with tables. As a general rule of thumb, you never want your database users to interact directly with the tables or queries. You want to keep them using forms and reports. Now, building good forms is really more of an art than a science. It just takes practice. It's something that you just have to do over and over again, and eventually you'll get good at it. I know that I've personally spent many hundreds of hours just making my forms easy to use and look good and work properly. Now, having Access build the form for you, as we did in the last level, is okay, but personally, I like to build my own forms from scratch. And you'll find that once you learn how to do this, it's very easy. Plus, learning how to build forms from scratch will give you a better appreciation for what Access is doing when it automatically puts the form together for you. Now, as a quick review, in the last class, to build that customer form, all we did was click on the customer table, which is where we're getting our data from, then come up and click on Create, and then Form. And Access throws the form together for you. I showed you how to do a few things, like resize some of the text boxes and get rid of this label on the top. But we really didn't learn much about form design. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to build a form from scratch. So I'll close this. Save changes, I'll say no. Now, once again, come over and click on Customer T, and then click on the Create tab, and click on Form Design. This will give you a blank new form. Here's our blank, empty form. You can see it says Form 1 here on the tab. We'll give it a name when we save it. Access didn't put any of the fields from the table on this form yet. We have to do that ourselves. So come over here and click on Add Existing Fields. That will bring up the field list. And here you can see all the fields that are in our customer table. Now, if for some reason you see this message, it says no fields available to be added to the current view, that's okay. Just click on Show All Tables and then open up the customer T by clicking on the little plus next to it. Sometimes Access doesn't know which table you want to work with, even if you only have one table in the database. And if you have multiple tables, you'll see them all listed here. But for now, we're just concerned with the customer table. So now we're ready to add these fields to our form. And here's how you do it. Take your mouse, click on one of these fields right here, drag it over to the left, and drop it where you want it. Right there. It's that easy. Access creates two objects when you do that. First, you'll see a label, which identifies what field this is, and then a text box, and that's where the data goes. If you want to see the form in action so far, come over to the View drop-down and pick Form View. That's all we have so far. We have Form 1, a label that says Customer ID, and the text box. Let's go back and work on our form some more. Go to the Views drop-down and pick Design View. That puts us back into Form Design. Let's add a few more fields to our form. I'll pick the next field, which is First Name. Click and drag. Now, when you drag it over, don't line it up underneath the label. 
If you do, you get this. What you want to do is line it up underneath the text box. So, all right, so I'm going to press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that field. Let's try it again. Click and drag. You want to line it up right here underneath the text box. Perfect, right there. Sometimes that can take a little practice. If you mess up, just press delete. Try it again. First name, click and drag and drop it right there. Now you can also add a field to the form by double clicking on it. So let's say I want to add last name. I'll double click. And look at that. It added last name to my form, but it's kind of overlapping first name. That's okay. We can move it wherever we want to. To move a field, take your mouse, move it somewhere over the text box so that you see that four-way pointing arrow, but not over one of those little buttons because those buttons are used to resize the fields. We learned how to do that in the last class. Remember, we can resize the field that way. I'll undo that. If you move over the border so that you see that four-way pointing arrow, you can click and drag and then move the box wherever you want it. Now notice when I move the text box, it also moves the label along with it. The same thing happens if you click on the label and then click and drag the label. It will also bring the text box along. These two objects are actually bound together. In a future lesson, I'll show you how to get around that. But for now, click and drag and you can move the two of them together. Now, if you decide you want to move a text box independent of its label, notice how there's a little dark box in the upper left corner. If you click and drag there, notice how I'm moving the text box without the label also moving. They're still bound together, but you can move them separate of each other by grabbing that little box in the upper left corner. Now, let's continue to add fields to our form. You don't have to add them one at a time. You can actually add a block of them all at once. Here's how you do it. Click on the first field that you want. Hold down the Shift key and then click on the last field that you want. Let's say I want everything from company name through email. I'll hold the Shift key down and then click on email. Notice how Access selects all the fields between those two. I'll then click and drag anywhere on that block to bring the whole block of them right over here onto the form. That's a quick way to bring in a whole bunch of different fields. And there you can see the full block of fields on my form. That's using the shift key. It gets point A to point B and everything between. You can also use the control key to select specific fields from the list. For example, let's say I only want website, phone, and credit limit. Well, I'll click on website, I'll hold down the control key and click on phone and then credit limit. Notice now I've selected three different fields. I can now click and drag and it brings those over. And there you can see those three fields. Now, I don't want those just yet. I'm going to press delete since those three fields are still selected. You can tell because they're still outlined. I'll press delete. That will get rid of those. And let's take a minute and just clean these fields up a little bit. Now, as you can see, customer ID is pretty far from the top of the form. So I'm going to click on this and drag it up into the corners a little bit more. There we go. Now, first name and last name, I want to bring underneath customer ID. So I'll slide that up a little bit. And I'll bring last name right up underneath it. Now, wouldn't it be nice if I could have first name and last name together on the same line? Let's do this. Let's delete the label that's attached to last name. And you can do that by just clicking on the label like I have it selected here and pressing delete. You can delete the label and still leave the text box on the form. Now, I'm going to take last name and drag it up here next to first name. So it'll be first name and then last name right next to it. Now if that's the case, I might want to inform the user what's going on over here because it still says first name. But remember, that's just a label. We can click on it 
and edit the text inside that label. So I'm going to come in here, I'll press backspace a couple times, and I'll go first, comma, last, name, colon, and press enter. See that? I've changed the label, so it says first, comma, last, maybe I should say last names, right? So I'll click on it again. Notice if you click off of it, it's not selected at all. If you click on it once, it becomes selected. The entire label is now selected or highlighted. And that's so you can move it or resize it. But if you click on it another time, I have a blinking cursor. And that's so you can change the text inside the label. The label is just for display on the form. You can put any kind of text in here that you want. First, last, names, and then I'll press enter. See that? Now I'm kind of running out of room here. So let's move these text boxes over a little bit to the right. All right, I'll start with last name. I'll drag that over like that. I'll drag first name over. Oh, but look what happened. When you move a text box, it drags the label along with it. So now I can come back over here using that trick I just showed you a moment ago and move just the label back to the left. See that? And then, of course, customer ID. I'll click on that. Grab this little dot right there and slide it over. See that? Again, playing with forms, making them look good, takes a lot of time. But doing it this way, you have much more control over what your forms are going to look like. It's nice that Access can build a form for you quickly. That's good in a pinch. But to make forms do exactly what you want them to do, you'll find it's better to build them yourself. Now let's see what our form looks like. I'll come up here and click on Form View again. All right, it's coming along nicely. We have our customer ID, our auto number up top here, and then we have first, comma, last names together on the same line. 